Spencer Canyon is a popular afternoon objective in Utah's Escalante area. The trip can be completed in two to three hours by an efficient team taking the right entry fork. Look at that slot, wow. The Escalante is well known for a number of excellent canyons. It's located between Zion and Capitol Reef National Parks. Spencer is just a few miles from Highway 12 on a good dirt road. It was named by Michael Kelsey in his guidebooks due to its proximity to Spencer Flat. From the end of the road you can follow an old track for a mile to the wilderness boundary. Reach the boundary with the wilderness study area, so I should be able to go across country to Spencer Canyon across there. There are two entry options. The canyon purist will likely choose the upper of two forks, which requires two or three rappels with natural anchor building skills. The second fork, however, is a much more direct and efficient option, requiring less gear and therefore a smaller pack. The drops in fork two are quite straightforward and can all be downclimbed. Little squeezy downclimb here. If you enter via fork two, you can probably leave your harness in the car. The only real technical challenge is where the two forks meet, a 12 metre drop where a handline is recommended. Wow, the creek cuts down in a little downcline. Okay, so here's fork one coming in, main Spencer Canyon. The aerial photos clearly show the area is dissected by an abundance of fault line cracks. The canyon is also known as Centre and Main because the map resembles a Mormon town street grid, just like the Plat of Zion as proposed by Joseph Smith in 1833. Well, quite confusing. I thought I was about to start wandering off up that way, but no. Down here, of course. Look at that slot. Wow. Oh, it has a bit of a cold, ominous damp breeze coming out of it, just like Australian Blue Mountains canyons. Well, definitely happy to have the rope hand over hand down there for the down climb. A little bit of water at the bottom here and behind me there's more water. The canyon is rated 3B. The B means it should have pools and you might need to swim. However, we visited during a dry spell, finding the pools quite low. We kept our feet dry by stemming and bridging over them. Uh, there is a pool of unknown depth down there and I'm not gonna test it out. After a hundred yards or so, the narrow slot finishes. Still lots of green trees in the creek which suggests there's still water about. There is a pool there, difficult to tell, waist deep. Very nice ledge that bypasses it. Yeah, and another pool. On the other side of the pool and then a big wide ledge to come up and over. Oh, it's some of the blackest desert varnish that I've seen. Wow. After the dark slot, it's one and a half miles hiking through the tall straight walls in soft sand. Spencer Canyon Suddenly just goes a 90 degree bend that way. The canyon abruptly ends at a large open area where several fault lines converge. To exit, you can walk south and up Slick Rock. Alternatively, a more interesting exit is to climb up a fault line canyon that Michael Kelsey named Fork 3. It has a few easy climbs in narrow sections. Standing on a large boulder towards the top of the exit canyon, he can get out to the south here. Once back out onto the plateau, wander back across the desert to find your car. Spencer Canyon is a quick and fun trip. It's a nice afternoon outing.